Isang araw, habang bagot na bagot na si Julia dala ng COVID-19 pandemic enhanced community quarantine, nag-isip siya ng paraan para hindi siya ma-board in a house. I'm bored in a house and I'm bored in a house. Bored in a house, I'm bored in a house and bored. Bored in a house, I'm bored in a house. Bored. Bored in a house, bored. Bored in a house and bored in a house. Bored in a house, I'm bored in a house. Bored in a house and I'm bored in a house. Bored in the house and I'm so bored. Bored in a house, bored in a house. Bored. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, gagawa tayo ng panibagong... Vlog. At ang vlog na gagawin natin ay, of course, it's all about another question and answer portion. So, part 2 po ito ng Q&A natin. But the thing is that, ang mga nag-ask sa akin ng questions ay galing mismo sa aking mga Ilocano co-vloggers. Kaya naman, um, nag-post ako sa social media, dun sa Facebook, sa aking timeline mismo. To comment down their questions and then at the same time ipa-plug na rin nila yung kanilang YouTube channel just for us to of course help each other. Kaya eto na po yung kanilang mga questions. And it's ready in 3, 2, 1. So eto po yung pinos ko dun sa social media. Ayan. So ipapost ko na lang siya right here. Diyan. Ang sinabi ko dito is co-vloggers asked me question. Yan po yung title ng ating vlog for today. So ang sabi ko mga kapwa Ilocano vloggers, comment down below. So ito yung first question coming from Charisma Razonable. Ang sabi niya is who or what inspire you to vlog? So to tell you a story, a short story, kung bakit ko sinimulan ang ganitong idea or being a vlogger is because first and foremost, when I was young, <laughs> when I was young, I was really um, dreaming to become a television host. Pero since hindi siya natupad, ay hindi pala. So I, dre I dreamt, past tense, I dreamt to be a television host. So, pinangarap ko po siya. So, nag-take po ako ng mass communications and I am a mass communications graduate. Naging radio host po ako sa radio natin sa Candon City. But then, it was not so successful kasi maliit lang yung sahod. So, nag-decide ako to work in a call center. So, na-inspire ako to vlog kasi nakikita ko na kumikita pala sila in vlogging. Pero when I was young, when I was like 18 years old, mahilig na talaga akong mag-upload-upload ng mga videos. Yung isa sa mga videos ko, um, it was like 27,000 tama yung views niya yung pinakamalaki pero hindi wala hindi pa ako aware noon na na merong ganong eksena sa YouTube na kikita ka or something kaya hindi ko siya tinuloy so na-inspire ako sa mga vloggers ngayon na kumikita na sila ng marami and since hilig ko naman ang pag-hosting hosting pagtatalak-talak so why not try and as of this moment I already got like 595 subscribers and hopefully sana pumunta na siya ng 1k para nyanyahod na tayo ng bonggang bongga so another question came from Dominic Filarca ang sabi niya dito is kung ikaw ang makakatuklas sa vaccine ng COVID-19 saan mo gagamitin ang 10 million from Dominic Vlogs so, yung 10 million na yun is sobrang lucky already. It's already too much. 
So, first thing is that siguro ilalagay ko muna siya sa bangko and then mag-iisip ako ng magandang business to put up here in Kauai and Ilocos Sur. And at the same time, para makatulong din ako sa aking relatives, I would hire them especially sa mga jobless or less fortunate people. O ba? Diba? Another question is coming from Brian Canoy. Kung ikaw ay may pagkakataong makipagkita sa mga famous vloggers, sino-sino ang mga vlogger na gusto mong makipagkita? Um, first on the list, Brian Canoy Dance Cover. Yan po yung vlog niya. Brian Canoy, first on the list is Mimi Yo, kasi I really wanted her way of vlogging na humorous and at the same time nakakatuwa siya and then miss everything sa pangalawa sa aking listahan. And yung pumapangatlo is um... Sino pa best? Basta yun, yung, yun lang yung dalawang nasa isip ko, yung dalawang vloggers na yun. Because they are really humorous at medyo naka... Hindi pala, hindi pala medyo. Nakakatawa sila ng bonggang bong. Yun. And I can find or I can see my attitude in them as well. And then coming from RJ Molina. From RJ Molina, how to deal with bashers. Sabi niya. At ang kanyang YouTube account ay Best Wang RJ Molina. So, RJ Molina, um, how to deal with bashers? Hindi pa naman ako naka-encounter ng maraming bashers kasi wala ako niyan. Ang um, meron lang ako are constructive criticizers. Yun ang tawag. So, sinasabi nila na ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Lakasan mo yung volume ng yung ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. It's actually a form for you to learn and for you to improve your vlogging statement. And from Albert Tabag, would you be brave enough for the greatest adventure of your life? So, greatest adventure siguro sa akin in my life is like, hili ko ang mag-join ng mga ng mga pujent-pujent or competitions in different cities, different provinces. And na-try ko na rin sa La Union, na-try ko na rin sa Baguio. So, gusto ko siyang itry sa iba pang mga lugar. So, I will definitely be brave enough because that is actually my dream to travel to travel all around the Philippines joining pageantry or trans pageantry from Bruce Paragas after COVID would you run for politics so um, for politics it's a no for me di po ako magjoin ng politics because that is not my cup of yun lang yun tapos from Brian De La Cruz, if you will die at this moment and you will appear God in to heaven and God will ask you by what reason that they will allow you to my kingdom for eternal life and how would you answer him? Ang kanyang vlog is Brian Mua or makeup artist. So, Siguro kapag kakausapin ko si God, nandun na ako sa gate of heaven and then tatanungin niya sa akin kung anong rason, kung why should I enter the kingdom of God, then I would tell him na <laughs> all sins are being forgiven naman. And I asked for forgiveness for how many times. I cannot really count how many times already. And that is God. That's God. Ano ba yun? That is the thing that he is, he has been waiting, not only me, but, but, but the entire humanity. So, siguro kung nag-ask ka ng forgiveness kay God, He will definitely forgive you and let you enter the kingdom of God kahit ano pa ang pagkatao mo mapabakla, mapatomboy, or mapalesbian, or bisexual, or trans ka. As long as your heart is filled with gratitude, filled with, <laughs> with love, and the fear of God, then definitely, He will definitely, you know, accept you in His kingdom. Kasi wala namang perfect sa world. Hindi naman tayo pinanganak na maging perfect. So, ang gusto lang niya is humingi tayo ng kapatawaran at aminin natin na yung ating pagkakasala. And I, thank you. Another question is from Fatima Bermudez. What is your ultimate goal in life? So, ang kanyang YouTube channel is Fatima Bermudez. Yan yung YouTube channel niya. So, what is my ultimate goal in life? My ultimate goal in life is wala siya talagang... Wala talaga akong fix na dream or something. Ang goal ko in life is to be successful. Period. 
So, kung dadalhin man ako ni, ni success sa ganitong field like in a parlor, beautician, it's okay as long as you are successful. Kung host naman, it's okay. Kung buconera, it's okay. Kung vlogger, it's okay. Kasi ako yung tipo ng taong mahilig mag-discover ng mga bagay-bagay. So, gusto ko nag -e explore ako palagi. Kung saan man ako dalhin hindi tadhana, kung saan ako magiging successful, then it's really okay for me. Ang mahalaga, kikita tayo ng malaking anju para sa kumikitang kabuhayan. Ganun! From Mohini Haji, ang kanyang YouTube channel is Dennis Wilson Sahor. If people really learns from their mistakes, why are the why are they so afraid of making it? I have the fear of losing <laughs> Kasi siguro takot tayong mag-fail ulit. Nasusubukan ulit yung bagay pero takot tayong maulit yung isang isang bagay na pagkakamali natin. Kasi hindi naman ibig sabihin na kung nag-learn ka, nag ka na sa mga mistake mo, ibig sabihin alam mo na yung gagawin mo. No. It's a big no-no. Kasi in this world that we are living in, walang perfect. There's no perfect. No one is perfect. At kahit pa ulit-ulit mo pa siyang pina-perfectionize, perfectionize ka <laughs> Basta parang ganun, ulit-ulit mo mang pina-perfect yung isang pagkakamali, it will never become perfect. Siguro almost perfect, 99% perfect, pero, or 99% almost perfect, pero hindi siya magiging perfect. Unless kapag nasa heaven ka na, that is only the time that you will tell to yourself, the word perfection. Coming from Eli Arizabal, tama Eli, tama ba to? Eli, Eli or L A? L A, L A, basta parang Eli Pork Pork yung kanyang YouTube channel. Concurrent vloggers like Hi Everything, Mimiya. Light and among others uses rather ear terrifying kind of grammar which is a violation of law in English. Now, how would you explain to person who believes better grammar and fluency will make social media better platform to inspire and entertain people? You know what? It's wrong. Kasi hindi, hindi po ibig sabihin na kapag fluent ka na in English or magaling ka na mag English, that's the basis of intelligence already. No, it's a big, big no-no. Kapag sinabi mo that English is the basis of intelligence, you're such a racist girl. Racist ka kapag ganun. Kasi wala naman talagang fluent in English. Kasi ang English language is a diverse language. Ibig sabihin yan, may mga iba't ibang accent, may mga iba't ibang way tayo to communicate. And wala talagang perfect English. So, kung sinabi mo na ang basis of intelligence or basis to inspire others is because of the is the English language, it's a no-no. Pwede kang mag-inspire kahit na palakol or ano ba yun? English, karabaw ka as long as you have the positive attitude and you have the goal to make the people happy, then you could definitely become a... You could definitely become an influencer. Kahit na hindi ka magaling mag-English. So, coming from Kenneth Sunyega Rugudo, Sir Denya, ang kanyang YouTube channel is Ken Sir Denya. Are you in favor of that penalty? Why or why not? So, syempre, hindi naman na, wala naman tayong karapatan na mag-take ng lives kasi nga it's stated in the in the Bible. Bible, in the Ten Commandments, that is the Sixth Commandment na thou shall not kill. Tapos, um, bawal din ang extrajudicial killing sa law. So, meaning to say, I'm not in favor of death penalty. Hindi dapat natin isasabatas yung, yung life or kukunin lang yung isang life just because nandito? of of nagkasala siya or something. Room. Life is the most precious gift that has been given by God. <laughs> hindi yun yung <laughs> hindi yun yung solusyon para maging maganda at maayos ang ating world that we are living in. Hindi yun yung solusyon. There are others, other solutions. Pwede mo siyang paru parusahan like life imprisonment but never take the life of other people dahil wala kang karapatan. Only God and the last but not the least, I will post your question now. Sabi ni Pia. 
So, subscribe din kayo sa kanyang channel, Pia Meal. Here is the question, what are the things that you would not tolerate in friendship? Bagay sa YouTube best. Answer. <laughs> Ang sabi niya is, what are the things that you would not tolerate in friendship? Yung hindi mo siya... Yeah, I know. Abaya, I'm not stupid. Wow. I'm not stupid. <laughs> so what? Yung pagsisinungaling niya. Oh, I know. And then, explain mo akong bakit. Del, mabay na. So yun daw, yung tama, yung pagsisinungaling, siyempre, di ba? Huwag mong parang itolerate yung Don't... isang bagay na mali. Instead, pagsabihin mo siya na mali yung ginagawa niya, because at the end of the day, kayo at kayo lang din naman ang magkakanggi. Then, minsan dyan, nasisira yung pagkakaibigan. Correct. And at the same time, kailangan mo rin sabihin sa kanya yung tama at saka mali. mali. Kung kaibigan ka niya talaga, magkikinig siya. Gaya ng sinabi ko earlier, that it's just a constructive criticism. So, meaning to say, hindi yan bashing. It's just a way for you to tell the mistakes of others for them to learn. So, dyan po nagtatapos yung ating vlog, guys. So, if you want more of the question and answers vlog in my channel, don't forget to comment down below. And, of course, please hit subscribe kapag bago ka lamang sa aking channel. Don't forget to ring the bell para ma-notify ka sa lahat ng mga vlogs in the future as well. So thank you so much guys. Love you all. Bye!